All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, they're standing here telling me it's all about the angle of a video or a picture, but uh, I don't think I have any good angles for myself, but uh, just kind of let you uh, show you what's going on in the shop this week. We've been pretty busy, so I ain't been able to upload much this week. But uh, uh, we've got some pretty, uh, pretty good builds going on right now. And some interesting things going on with some stuff uh, being replaced. And uh, we got one done over here. We'll uh, show you what all we done to it and give you an idle clip of it. So. All right, we got the Cadillac coming in for a cam upgrade and a couple other things. Um, also, Stick shift car, as everybody likes, and we had Tick Performance customer wanting them to build the transmission. So we've got that done, and now let's see what we're going on right over here. All right, Corvette. And you can see what's missing here. For the Corvette guys, they've probably figured out what's going on here, what could possibly be wrong. So, let's go over and see what the problem was. All right, everybody's favorite thing that I like to see on the Corvette, torque tube. There's uh, the most famous part that seems like gets tore up on a lot of them. So, a few torque tubes on the way. Get that replaced, get it back together. Let's go over and check out this Z01. All right, June, you want to say anything about this one? You installed the the tank. Well, ported blower, cam, um, installed the uh, ice tank from Synergy Motorsports. Uh, really nice setup they made for these cars. Um, of course, we'll show you what it looks like here in just a minute. Give you a, let you hear this car. It, it, it uh, it's only 85. Turned out really nice. Uh, it made over 700 to the tire and over 700 on torque. So uh, car runs really good for what it is. And like I said, the support from Synergy Motorsport on this was awesome. He's uh, we've been working with them some on several things and. Uh, Top notch. Thanks for the help out there. So let's check out the tank. Get you a good idle clip. Yeah, all the lines run down there. Nice little setup going on here. Trade that coyote. Ooh, what have we got here? Hey, look at the driver. And it's stick shift. Have we have we got uh, that's a barn find here or something? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all might recognize this guy. Well known at the drag strip up here, Crazy Cooter. He's getting all look at him prettied up for the camera here. Some of you probably recognize him from a couple videos ago. They, what would you say, pushed the limits on a 
LC9. Certain motor. LC9, wasn't it? Yeah, LC9, 30 pounds. 30 pounds, he didn't like it. 30 pounds will do. So you found the limit on the stock bottom end. Yep. And you talk, I mean, you know, you wasn't, you know, you was like, hey, let's see what it'll do. Right? Right. So, it made for a good, uh, it actually was a good pass. <laughs> made for All the way up to the 330. All the way up to the 330 <laughs> was a killer pass. Uh, regardless, though, it was actually a bad situation. It, it, obviously, the motor, the motor let loose, but, you know, uh, part of it was he had the engine diaper on it, which is we look for on safety. But we had a crazy cooter there. Um, the truck's back together. Uh, Leo, is there anything you want him to tell about the truck now, or are you just... Oh, we just thrashed. This last yeah. week, we thrashed. 4.8 liter, you're going to do pretty good. 4.6, what it is. 4.6, that's a Ford motor. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, well I, I know you don't want to really, you know, let anybody know anything. But anyway, you, you got it back together. You got it, got it down here. We're going to strap it down on a dyno, do a little tuning for you. Um, I'm sure when we're done tuning, I mean, I'll come back to you. I mean, if you want to let any dyno numbers out, you can. If not, you don't have to. That's strictly up to you. But, you know, like we've been talking, the, the biggest thing is the ET at the track. Yep. So, we're going to get Crazy Cooter. We're going to teach him how to strap a truck down on a dyno here. We're going to get some pulls made, and when we get done, we'll come back and see what your final thoughts are. Cooter, you got anything for us before we start making pulls? Nah. You're ready to go, ain't you? Alright guys, it's on the dyno, been tuned, uh, we had a good time with it today, um, uh, Leo it's up to you, like I said earlier in the video, we was coming back to you, if you want to let any numbers loose, that's strictly up to you, $3.99, that, that'll work, you want to see 400, Four, yeah. 400 camo in stock bottom in LS, yeah. right, that's, yeah. hey little man, Hello. Um, just look forward to this truck being, going down the track again, dialing it in on the track and if it does go ahead Cooter you, you got something on your mind are you looking at it no. if it does what Leo's hoping it's oh, it, it they're going to have their hands full so yep hopefully it does looking yeah. forward to it look at him he called oh, yeah. a superstar here about to get his autograph <laughs> either way look at that tuner in there let's see what he's got to say you got any final say what do you think how it turned out Robbie Still not a coyote. Still not a coyote. Leo, you gonna take that? Alright, All right, guys. Get this one off the dyno and see what we got going. Look, I think we found a replacement driver for this little truck right here. You got it there. You'll get it. Is he driving it? Yeah, he's going to drive it. He, he's practicing on getting that steering wheel in there. Uh, there you go. There you go. Look at you. We got us a new driver for this truck now. You ready to go uh, in the four? In the, no, we're going to skip the fours. You ready to go in the threes with this truck? Oh, we'll wait different. All right. What buttons what? Do you know the buttons yet? Scramble. That's a massive white reduction. Monkey hop. 
and hold you at this front lawn. There you go. Right there is why we teach them young guys. Right here is the next generation driver.